So this is Spouse Affairs. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for leaving a comment. So, <laughs> so today, my it's a very interesting one. So the guys sent me some messages and I got some of your your thoughts. So they were like, I mean, women don't know some of the things that we want. I mean, so I, I, I just did like a compilation of some of the things that they said, which I'm going to chip into all the women so that we cannot say that we're no more aware. <laughs> okay, so one of the things they said is that we should take a compliment when they say you look good i love the way you look maybe i love your full lips or i love your hot legs and you're like my legs are not hot stop saying my legs are hot i mean they're like take a compliment girl take it take it if they're saying you look your hair is so wonderful take the compliment receive it own it they say we should stop complaining <laughs> the next one says um we should initiate sex initiate sex ladies initiate sex don't always wait for it to happen to you you give it why can't you give it and you know honey sometimes it's not a crime it's not bad it's not a bad thing so give initiate sex initiate sex let him let don't let it not always be the man that is the one initiating i'm the one trying every time i'm always trying to you know has and then sometimes she's like i don't want i don't as if she does she never gets honey i mean so initiate sex too sometimes then they said now sometimes it's not like they're going to go and meet a girl or they're going to you know do something that they shouldn't be doing they just want to be with their friends leave them to be with their friends <laughs> allow them to spend time with their friends don't always think that you know maybe they, they went somewhere to go and do something that is wrong or they went to you know do something wrong or you know allow them to be men allow them to have time with their friends to go you know to go out to go and um, spend time with them, to go whatever, play a game, just to visit their friends. Allow them, you know, allow them. They just need that time out. They just need that. Don't say, maybe they say they want to go. You say, we're well, going together. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, what is it? Leave them to be with their friends. Allow them. Okay, then another one says that um, if you're uh, good at something, it says, if you're great at something, so say it confidently. Don't always try to, you know, humble. I mean, say it. I'm good at this thing. Or I know how to do this thing. I know how to do this thing. You know, say it to them. Tell them, I, I know how to do this thing. I know it. Then another one, they said, they said, when my girlfriend she said she's always pretending when she likes something if she likes something she will pretend that she doesn't like it <laughs> if you if she likes to eat burger she will say i don't like it i don't like but they know because they see you going to they can see i mean you like this thing why are you pretending that you don't like something it's irritating to our men so please if you like something say you like it stick to it okay don't say don't start changing your mind i don't like it i don't I don't really like it you like it you like it if he's hard when he's he, let me give an example he's he's um fondling you and you're like i don't like it i don't like sex i don't i mean why you like it why are you saying you don't like it i mean what is that about then they say we don't show affection <laughs> some of us don't show affection so please show affection when they are hurting, hurting or whatever show them affection let them see the soft side of you that's why we're women we're women now show them affection show them that you care you know say kind words when you see that they are hurting about something you know i mean don't don't always uh, 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 um 
don't always feel as in not sh express any emotion or show any form of care and all that i mean then if you whatever if you want a date in a particular restaurant or you like to go out to a particular say it why are you 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 don't like going to uh, mcdonald's and you can't say you don't like going to mcdonald's you want to go to a chi to eat chinese say it i mean it's not a why say i don't know what is the deal with um you know saying something that you know going to a place that you don't really like let him know that you don't like it if he can't afford chinese or both of you can't afford chinese then you can do the chinese at home i mean just be creative think outside the box you know then um it says um so um when the, he's having sex <laughs> when our husbands are having sex with us they're saying that if they are touching you in a particular place the place that they're touching you means that they like that place too so they will want that to be done to them too not they're touching you every time they're touching you in that particular place you don't know that they too want this to be to happen to them like some men they like the boobs they're touching your boobs and then you don't try to even attempt to touch his own boobs you don't know that men boobs they, they get stimulated it excites them too it does for some men they get excited with it it's part of arousal for them so you can play with his boobs too you can lick it you can use your teeth and just rub on it a bit you know i mean be in the in the thing so don't um do it back to them what they're doing to you do do back to them basically okay then um um they said uh, they want you to talk about sex they want you to talk about it even having with it a sense of humor it's not um uh, um don't make when you are you are you are trying to talk about sex don't make it like a serious thing and then bruise his ego and bruise you know his self-esteem you know there's this thing the man's genitals are like his pride so don't don't um say ah, that your 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 dick is just too small or don't i mean don't use such words it doesn't satisfy me i mean that thing that thing you have in there doesn't satisfy me doesn't move me you know <laughs> don't do that you know constructive ways to pass your message across so you're not sending you know a a wrong uh, uh message okay then um they said um don't always bring your ex inside our discussion unless he brings it up don't bring your ex so I get this point because many ladies, hey, my ex used to do this to me. Hey, when I was dating Shegun, Shegun used to do it like this. When I was dating uh, Musa, this is how he used to do it. Ah, Musa touches me like this. When I was with her, uh, why are you saying all that? Musa does this for me. This is, okay, why are you not with Musa? Why are you with me? So don't bring your ex inside the matter focus on this man unless they bring the guy up so that it doesn't look like you've not healed from your guy your former guy or you've not you know don't always bring your 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 former guys your former guys into the discussion okay so um some sometimes they're saying that sometimes they are not uh, straightforward with what they want and all that so you we should be able to read but we are not uh, how will we uh, read sometimes um, he said he's staying out later than we should generally trying to make sure that you're enjoying yourself okay so um i'm just reading and seeing um <laughs> okay there's this one that says he says i like it when my wife dresses up i love it when she's all dressed up and looking all pretty for me so ladies don't look hot dress up kill the way we used to say it when we were single when we we're single we we're talking like you know ah see this see this my killer dress or this my you know i know i'm looking good today we used to dress 
to look good for ourselves, to feel good with ourselves. So, why is it that when we got married, we don't feel that we should dress up anymore? No, that was part of why he saw us. That was why he saw us. I remember how my husband said that I was you know counting money and then looking all pretty and that one I, I still remember i was wearing braids very long braids because he told me about it i was wearing braids looking all smashing and dashing and imagine as a banker now i was killing them with my dressing and you know and hotness <laughs> and that was how he, he saw it like ah what if i was all looking dull and you know how is he going to take notes because he, actually he wanted to marry a fair girl so if I was all looking like, you know, I mean, not presentable, how was he going to even know that I was pretty? Yeah. So, dress code, even though you're married to him. That, now that I, I'm married, you think that I don't dress? Ah, I dress. I dress, man. <laughs> so dress up. They like it when, you, when you're all dressed up, okay? Um, uh, let me see if I can take um, one or two more. Let me see. Okay. Okay. When we buy food for you in a restaurant, eat your food. Finish your food. <laughs> this is so interesting. You know, that thing, I don't know where we got that thing from. That when we, we can finish the food, though, but we will just be eating like a bird. Why? I mean, it's irritating. He takes you out. He spends money. Sometimes you don't even contribute. You don't even do it 50 50 or 50 60 40. He buys the food, does everything, and then you pick up the food after he has finished spending that money. Waste the food, and then you walk out. You think that that is being a sweet girl. That's not being a sweet girl. That's being somebody that they should, that is not a wife. Because how can you be wasting food? They buy food for you. You cannot finish the food. You can't. Some will just, some will even be kind enough and say, please pack it and let, let me take it home. That shows cut that shows that you you have manners you have value for you have value for money but when you just pick at the food pick at the, or they take you to go and eat and then you bring 20 of your friends what's wrong with you why are you doing that because he says you should come and eat he wants to spend spoil you and then you now bring 50 friends now and come along with them or you tell him that i need to take friends for my roommate food for my roommate my auntie my uncle my nephew my i mean like who does that Ladies, please stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do that. Then they compliment. They say we don't compliment them. When they dress up, we don't tell them that they're looking good. We want them to tell us that we're looking good. So why are we not telling them that they're looking good? Tell your man. Guy, you look good today. Man, this, in fact, the way you are looking is killing me right now. I want to rush you. Tell him. Like, tell him. Say it to him. Like, who else again will go tell this thing? Let me speak pidgin English. Who else again will want to tell this thing again? We don't marry now. We don't marry this guy. Who else will want to tell this one again? Now, only in dinner. So, <laughs> make what I swear, tell him, say he's fine. After all, we married him because he's fine now. Because, he, because of some of these things. So, I mean, what is it? Okay. So, some men say that we don't trust them. We don't trust them. You've been in this relationship for six months, six whole months, and you still don't trust this man. Ah, my sister, I don't know what you are doing in that relationship. Carry your bag and go away and go somewhere else. Because I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing in that relationship? You don't trust the man. You don't trust him. So why are you in the relationship? Why are you in the, in the relationship? I mean, it makes no sense. If you don't trust the man, if you don't trust him, why do you want to get married to him? Why? Because you're suspicious, you're checking everything he's doing, you are, I mean, you are like, checking this one, he did, I mean, what is it? If you don't trust him, six months, you have stayed in that relationship, you, you, there's no trust. My friend, go and marry somebody else. Go and marry and stop tormenting somebody else's child. Okay, so, um, okay, sometimes, we are saying that we are not assertive. That we don't we don't assert like we like them we say we like them we just keep quiet you know i remember that time when me and my husband were dating at some point we're friends now we're friends so we now had an issue so i was so upset so i was like and then i don't know how and i love you when you love somebody and then the person he, he stopped the conversation like eh? 
you say what did you say i love you you say you you say you love me <laughs> you had to cut that conversation because he was surprised he said i didn't even know when it even came out of my mouth but i don't regret saying it well it had already come out before i was like sister what are you saying and that was the truth because i was saying it out of my you know out of my pain so i said it then so he knew i loved him so i mean if he, he the lady loves you so what's wrong with you he guess he hadn't told me then that he wanted to marry me we we're friends we we're really good friends exchanging novel books and all that and all that but we had not he had not proposed to me so we we're just friends so but i had gone past friendship i was already in the love zone and it came out of my mouth <laughs> <laughs> so they are saying that we don't if you are interested in a, in a guy okay that we should say it but be subtle that's the key be subtle don't hey guy i loved you i'm interested in you i, I, I you are not touching them or you are just do you know overboard they come somewhere and you are all over them no just subtle if you're in, they're in a party just you know chip in here and there come around subtle just be subtle then um if, if, if the truth is that if a guy knows that you're interested most of the time they too become interested in you if they really want to they like your person they like who you are and all that so um okay don't get confidence in sex and it's uh, okay but um uh somebody that's okay yeah this uh, overconfidence you know some girls hey i sabi me hey i know how to do this thing when it comes to sex ah i make i'm the queen of i can't do anything i can make you come in five minutes i can you know overconfidence it's a turn off you are irritated with it you are irritated what what is it braggadocious you know everything you're bragging everything i can i can i mean calm down sister it's a turn off you're turning him off you're turning him off that's not what he came there to hear that's not what he came there to hear. Okay, so <laughs> those are some of the things that were sent to me. So I hope that this has helped somebody. So these are the thoughts of our men. So ladies, 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 come on now. Let's 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 change some of these things. Let's change the narrative and then have a good relationship. Please like, subscribe. Please, 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 please. thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. <laughs>